In some parts of the sports universe, the thump of a ball in a glove has to wait for the winds of winter to subside, for the ice and snow to melt, exposing the bare spots on the old sandlot diamond from that last spontaneous game of the previous fall. Yet in other areas, the bats and balls never get put away. And it is there we find proof of the joy that comes from a sport that seems to be more on our minds in the spring. Those places could be on fields in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Cuba, Mexico, anywhere warm, as with these young players in the United States. Although it's estimated that some 15 million American kids play organized baseball, even more take part in this ritual as old as the sport, perhaps choosing upsides, but for sure, playing for fun. Regardless of our number of birthdays, watching these moments when there are no umpires, no coaches, no scoreboard, and remembering our own times in this setting, it makes seniors juniors. It was a hockey player named Wayne Gretzky who, talking about his sport, spoke for this one when he said, when you played those pickup games as a kid, if someone bothered to keep score, you still felt the same way after, whether you won or lost. W.P. Kinsella wrote, Baseball is solid, true, pure, and precious as diamonds. If only life were so simple. Apparently, for the first time since 1994, it has not been so simple for the more famous ones who play this game. But that is far from the minds of these even though their young lives have seen some changes brought about by a virus and distancing, in this great outdoors, if it bothers them, if anything bothers them today, it is not evident. This is exercise without even thinking about it, just like their parents may have had, and their grandparents. Nothing electronic here. Talented, trained, smartphone fingers and thumbs wrapped around a bat. Solid, true, pure, and precious as diamonds. <laughs>